Welcome to the exciting world of Land of the Giants. This TV series from the late 1960s takes you on an adventure to a place where everything is much bigger than usual. Did you know there are many interesting facts and stories about the show? Get ready for some surprising and emotional tales. One thing to think about, are there any lesser known facts or stories about this show that fascinate you? Maybe you'll discover some hidden treasures as we explore more. And let's talk about the famous actors in this series. Who was your favorite? There were so many talented actors to choose from. Now we want to hear from you. What's your favorite memory or personal experience with this beloved series? Share your stories and memories with us. Your voice makes our community even richer. So get ready for a journey filled with excitement, suspense, and nostalgia. Land of the Giants has something for everyone, and we're excited to explore it together. Stay tuned for more interesting insights. Land of the Giants is a classic TV show that first aired in 1968. It's a science fiction series that takes viewers on an adventure to a mysterious land where everything is giant-sized. The plot revolves around a group of people who find themselves stranded on a strange planet after their spacecraft crash lands. They soon discover that they are in a world where everything is enormous, including the plants, animals, and even the people who inhabit it. The setting is futuristic, but also somewhat familiar, as the characters navigate their way through giant forests, cities, and other landscapes. They face various challenges and dangers as they try to survive and find a way back home to Earth. The main characters include the captain of the spacecraft, the brilliant scientist, the resourceful engineer, the courageous pilot, and other crew members who each bring their own skills and personalities to the group. Together, they must work as a team to overcome obstacles and outsmart the giants who inhabit this strange world. Throughout its run, Land of the Giants received critical acclaim for its imaginative storytelling, impressive special effects, and compelling characters. The show captured the imaginations of audiences around the world and has remained a beloved classic of science fiction television. In Land of the Giants, he portrayed one of the lead characters. He's among the select few actors to have clinched both the Tony and the Oscar for the identical role on stage and screen. The others include Yul Brynner, Rex Harrison, Anne Bancroft, Joel Gray, Paul Schofield, Shirley Booth, Jose Ferrer, and Viola Davis. He was offered the part of Grandpa in The Lost Boys, but had to decline due to health issues. He's featured in Tom Weaver's book, They Fought in the Creature Features. Land of the Giants, a TV series from 1968, features a cast member who won the 1965 Tony Award for supporting or features actor in a drama for the subject was Roses. He also portrayed Gilligan in a new Gilligan's Island show, jokingly attributing his weight loss to the role when asked about it during his battle with cancer. He was the oldest living collaborator of Alfred Hitchcock at the time of his death in April 2022. In 1968, a TV show called Land of the Giants aired and got people interested with its creative story and diverse actors. One actor who stood out played a role in three different Star Trek series. Even though a comedy magazine made fun of the show, this actor really enjoyed being in it. He even wore a skipper's cap when he wasn't filming and gave away some of his caps to help people in need. This actor's dedication to his role is impressive and shows how much he loved what he did. He continues to inspire fans and actors who want to follow in his footsteps. This story proves how important it is to be passionate about what you do in the entertainment world and beyond. Land of the Giants is notable for its association with actor June Wallace Thompson, widow of one of the series' stars. June Wallace Thompson attended the 2007 Twilight Zone convention in New Jersey. She passed away at her home in Los Angeles, California on January 9, 2015, though the cause of death remains unknown. Land of the Giants actor appeared in eight films selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress, including The Invisible Man and The Ten Commandments. Land of the Giants, a TV series from 1968, featured a cast member named William Shallard. He earned an Associate of Arts degree from Los Angeles City College. In the 1940s, Shallard joined Los Angeles, the group theater, akin to New York's The Actors Studio, where he performed in a production of W. Somerset Maugham's Reign, directed by Charles Chaplin. Shallard's parents, Olga Ida and Hera Henry Anderson, were New York-born Russian Jewish immigrants. In addition to Land of the Giants, David Carradine had roles in various films, including Dr. Bernardo in Everything You Always Wanted to Know About Sex But Were Afraid to Ask. His granddaughter, Martha Plimpton, acted in Another Woman, a Woody Allen film. 
Carradine authored Valerie in Giantland, a novella inspired by Land of the Giants, but set 10 years later. Notably, Carradine's touring productions of The Merchant of Venice, Hamlet, and Othello surpassed the box office success of Morris Evans' 1940 rendition of Hamlet. During the San Francisco run, he honored his late friend, John Barrymore, with a reserved memorial seat. Land of the Giants, a TV series from 1968, featured an actor who was highly active on television. Apart from starring in multiple series, he also appeared in numerous episodes of other shows. The creator of Gilligan's Island, Sherwood Schwartz, struggled to find the right actor for the role of the skipper. However, during a dinner at a Hollywood restaurant, he noticed the actor dressed in a Civil War uniform and was impressed. Schwartz decided to cast him for the skipper role. Before his TV success, the actor had a notable Broadway appearance in 1937, playing Lenny in John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men. This role solidified his reputation as an actor, alongside co-star Will Jeer. In the second season, the people stranded on the island faced tougher challenges, so they got creative with tools like a special flashlight and a periscope. These clever gadgets helped them survive and made the story more exciting. One of the actors, along with Kevin Hagen and John Crawford, appeared in all four of Irwin Allen's famous sci-fi TV shows from the 1960s. They went from exploring the deep sea and voyage to the bottom of the sea to dealing with space adventures in Lost in Space and the Time Tunnel. They really made their mark on the science fiction shows of that time. David Carradine, the oldest son, shared a touching story from behind the scenes in a book called Hollywood and Wine. They had to change how a character looked, which led to the cast and crew having a small gathering to remember the character. They shared stories and had drinks together, celebrating the characters' unique traits and moments that fans loved. These stories from behind the scenes give us a peek into the teamwork and creativity that went into making Land of the Giants. The show's mix of suspenseful stories and clever problem-solving kept viewers hooked and made it a memorable part of TV history. It's something people still hold dear today, even though the show is over. In Land of the Giants, alongside Warren Kenner, the actor appeared in both the 1967 and 1988 versions of In the Heat of the Night. He was part of the first group at the actor's studio in 1947, alongside notable peers like Julie Harris and Martin Balsam. He was the last surviving member among them. Additionally, when the bionic woman moved to NBC for the 1977-78 season, he became the first to play the same role on two different networks. These instances highlight his unique role in television history, showcasing his versatility and lasting influence on the industry.